Good morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday, November. Yeah, Wednesday, November 6, 2024. And I um I rest I, I rested well. But of course things are going on, you know what I mean? This was um you know this was a uh, historic event, you know, with the voting uh from yesterday. And I uh, I come forward to say I'm so thankful I listen. I mean, well, I, I should say I, I'm so thankful that I trust myself. I trust myself. And I, as I said about, you know, the election, uh, the weather, the science, there's there's just so many things going on behind the, behind the scenes that nobody uh, appears to not want to investigate or not to um think clearly about and i trust myself because i had made my decisions on such things as politics when i was 18 years old okay when i voted for the first time and what i what i what i realized is um there was just more going on than meets the eye but I did it in honor of my dad. My dad was, uh, he was a uh, passion. He had I had a lot of passion about voting. My mom, you know, my mom had, did not want to have anything to do with it. And I'm so thankful I had that, had both those experiences growing up as a young woman to understand that, you know, my dad was all in it, all in it with the politics and believing if you, you know, if you vote or believing if you do this or that and the other Blah 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 blah. My mom did not want to have anything to do with that. Okay, she had she had the other things that she was concerned about, and that was the household. You know, making the household uh, function functioning. You know, I had to have a functioning household with all of us running around in there. So I I'm so thankful that I was allowed to experience both sides of it, and they still loved each other. Okay, and they were were together almost sixty years, and so. I'm thankful. I'm so I wake up this morning and say I'm thankful and grateful to my parents for the modeling of their realities to me in order for me to develop myself properly. I have pr the proper grounding of uh of uh of uh support to develop myself, you know. Did I like it? No, not all the time. I hated it. <laughs> I'm be honest with you. I was stubborn and just as um rebellious and and so and such, and such as a young person is expected to be but what helped me stay grounded is you know my parents my mom especially was not going to tolerate certain behaviors and actions as well my dad but especially my mother and so in respect for her you know I I behaved <laughs> and um because I, you know, because things could have gone so far and in, in, in extreme in so many directions, because of my my energy level and and my my willingness to, you know, understand what is really going on here. Um, I, I, you know, and I, I'm so thankful I was allowed to develop those type of skills while I was living with my parents and while I was in the adolescence, you know, young woman, you know, go through defeat, go through getting my heart bro broke go through failing, go through this and that and the other, just, just attempting to figure out who I am and what I am and why I am. You know, that's what it became about. So those life experiences have created me to who I am today, and I'm so thankful of that, okay? I feel no disappointment about what happened with the political sphere because it's a game. I knew that, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I care about people. You know, I love people. I have universal love for this planet. So if me going out there and voting will make someone happy, I would do it. It's no different than a sports, you know, a sports event, you know, uh, you know, like golf. I love golf and tennis. And you remember all that? You know, and football, I, I, I once loved football, but football has become so degenerate, in my opinion, and dangerous. But that's my opinion. Hey, do what you need to do. 
because of the effects on the brain, the effects on the thinking. And so I've said this throughout my whole video series, you know, about politics. You know, it's a game. But, hey, if, if you want, I, I, paid, I played the lottery, I don't know how many times, with these expectations. And guess what? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, 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 you know, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. Okay? A lot of people are getting upset. I hope people understand that we had, we had so many opportunities to make things right during this particular administration. Right? That is what was about. But, it, you know, it wasn't getting done. So it's um w you know we just have to think about what we want to be registered in our brains constantly. Is it a game that somebody else's hands is involved in or you want to get into the game of your life and because you are going to make the difference there in your life because that's what you that is what you can control. Control your narrative, control your life. And so when you're controlling your narrative, that means you're controlling your thoughts and you're controlling your life. It's not going to be on the shoulders of politics. Okay, it doesn't begin with politics and doesn't end. I am more enthusiastic than ever to help people because we need help. People, we need to heal this, this, this country we need to heal this planet. Okay? I'm up for I'm up for my my small impact of that. Okay? But yeah, I, I participated in the in the the political game of voting. But if anybody has been paying attention to my post, okay. You know. And that's where you want to be. You want to be neutral. Hey, if you if you're telling me if I do this, I'm going to get a certain result. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to do it and see if I can get a particular result. And in 99% in, in of the time, a lot of us, if we look at our big picture, we're, we're gambling with our lives all the time. But for some, it's, it's, a, it's a way to learn. It's a, to understand the mistakes we made and how we can move forward from there. Okay, so... I hope I'll come back and talk a little bit more later, but I got things I need to do. You know, life still goes on. I still got to do what I got to do. And somebody is putting up posts. You know, I look, look at the posts. I didn't, I'm not going to listen to the speeches. The, I don't, you know, cause I did, I had, what I was doing, I'm going to be real honest with you is uh, I was going around and listening. To, I, I mean, I love to hear certain sounds and tones from people. Okay. But whether they are genuine and authentic about it, I have no idea. And I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's going on inside of them because that's not my responsibility anyway. But um, I did. I did enjoy these moments. The you know uh, the moments. Um, you know this this past whatever this was. <laughs> you know, um, I think for a lot of people they just were not prepared. Because nobody is reading a goddamn thing and knows and know anything about what's in the U.S. Constitution, so there were certain things that should have been nipped in the bud decades ago, upon decades ago. But no, we keep putting band aids on things and thinking, you know, making you know we're in a spin. Okay, let's just elect this one person and then you know everything's gonna be wonderful and fan you know it's, it's it's this fantasy thinking uh, that's degenerate and. Um, but then I want you to put all that stuff that we put on politicians, celebrities, sports figures, and put, turn that on you and imagine what that would do to you if you had all of that on your shoulders. Okay. It's, um, it's, it's bound to send you into, you know, a, 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 a you know, it's, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy to put all of our, as some people say, faith in a system that's not designed that way. It wasn't designed like that from the inception. Okay? Politics is not about the American people. 
especially U.S. politics. It is not about the, uh, the, the American people. It is not, okay? I had nothing to lose by coming into the, you know, entering into that arena just to, to, just to look around and, and see where I can improve myself. And again, I trust myself. So I am solid. I am still whole. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. Okay. I'm, I'm just glad it's over. Okay. And I, I say that this U.S., I say that this po political system has to be uh, dismantled completely. But nobody wants to hear that because, you know, they got their hands in their, hands in the pockets. You know, it, it, it is what provides them their livelihood. So you just have to be creative about it and figure out what are you going to leave for your children and descendants and your future, your future lineages. Okay. So, you know, I want to send love to people. I, you know, I hope a lot of us are just relaxing, stop mixing politics in your life. Okay. Um, it is, the politics are not about you. Okay, it's a, it's a game, and you're, you're essentially are spectators, even though you are out there casting votes and having this belief. You're just spectators. You're just, um, you know, ends to a mean, I don't know. You know, you're being used. A lot of people don't realize how used they were, okay? And again, you can't win everything. You know, winning in politics is, uh, is a contradiction anyway. You know, to say you're winning in politics. Yeah, I was happy that it, it had that there was a, a fresh face in there. You know, um, and to that fresh face of Miss Harris. You know, um, you ought to be able to pat yourself on the back and and realize how you have inspired young people to think. Hopefully, it's it's more so urgent to think and recognize, you know, it's all a game. You are seasoned in what you do, but at the same time, you know, nobody knows what's going on inside of you, per se. So allow your actions and behaviors to, well, let's put it this way, allow your thoughts to match your behavior and actions. Okay, that's all. And I say that to everyone out there. Allow your thoughts to match your behavior and actions. If you care about people, then care about them. If you love people, then love them. Okay? For me, it's about heal, having you healed. This nation, this country needs to be healed, needs to be recovered. Instead of being in healing and recovering, it's time to heal so that you can open up fresh new ideas of opportunities for you and you get yourself out of that spin of delusion and hallucination, indoctrination, you know, not being uh, truthful about your genuine intentions and purposes. Stop harming people. Stop invading people. Okay, stop using people. It's so important to hear. Stop using people. Stop training people. Okay, stop targeting people. Okay, and I'm going to say this once, uh, one more time as well. I know a lot about what's going on in the background because of the information I receive and how I think about what's really going on. And... I hold no grudges. I have no, 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 no sense of retaliation and revenge about what happened to me and what happened to others. I just want to just make it clear, okay, just make it clear that for me, at the end of the day, it's about love, okay? And we really, really, really need to heal and work. And by heal, and to heal is to work on this envy and jealousy, this criminal negative energy and all you gotta do is think about it 
Okay, who holds on to more criminal energy? I mean, who holds on to more jealousy and envy? Okay, so uh, my support for women will will not waver at in no shape, size, or form, because I know what it means to be a, I mean, be a woman in the true and sense. Okay, and we're gonna allow the men to be held accountable and responsible for for. Uh, taking on the responsibility of knowing who they are. And we're going to stop interfering with each other. We're going to stop bothering each other. And I um, don't know what's going to happen from now on. With people that I have been dealing with, I'm going forward. I have a destination to meet. You know, I have a, a path to take. And I know that you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. But in what is really happening, though, it's not about winning or losing. It's missing opportunities. Okay? So I'm going to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I will be back.